This season, the Hart High School Pirates broke through the program's biggest barrier. They will compete in a playoff game for the first time ever after finishing the season 8-1. and 13 Your Signs Nate Belt visited Hart today and tells us what this accomplishment means to the small town. For the first time in the history of Hart High School football, fans will pack these stands ready to watch their Pirates compete in the playoffs. Now for the players on this year's team, it may just be another Friday, but for the folks who have been around this program for decades, it means the world. It feels good to be a Pirate. We bleed red. In Hart, people love high school football. Jim Gale does. Like his dad before him, he played for this team. In 79 through 82. But never experienced much success. Now, seeing this year's team make history? They believe in themselves, and uh, it's bleeding into the community, and we're excited about that. For Junior Emanuel Hertzler, whether around town or in the stadium, it's easy to see that community excitement. It's more people than I've seen ever probably here. Something head coach Joe Tannis teaches his players to be grateful for. We try to take a moment during the game and tell the kids to look up and, and see in the stands how many people are here um, and appreciate that. It's just really special knowing that people are still here and they still care even after all these years. While the players treat it like any other week of practice. Can you show up to work again? Just another game. The buzz around town is different. And I'm excited that we're able to bring that to our, uh, our town um, and highlight our town because it's a great place. Um, and a lot of people don't know about Hart, Michigan. But now other teams will, because after decades of struggle, finally football fans here proudly declare. Now we can say, hey, we, we live in Hart, Hart Pirates. In Hart, Nate Belt, 13 on your side.